What's up gamers and welcome to the next exciting episode of Beast Mode, our current going medieval struggle. <laughs> Man, last episode was a doozy. Five dead. Started with seven, now we're down to the two, Troy and Natalite. Let's see at least who we're dealing with here. So Natalite was our backup constructor. So she's got that going for her with a little bit of tailoring. And then Bro here was our miner. They both had some hunting. A little bit of harvest. Okay. So, two decent manual laborers at least, thankfully. Um, I did go ahead and put up the blueprints right here so we can get the first little bits of wall. We can get the access to the archer's perch over here. We can finish off the bridge up over there. Um, I'm just going to start laying down traps and stuff. Uh, we also sealed the dirt back here. That was like one of the first things I did off camera just real quick. After last episode, I went ahead and had them start sealing that off. So that is done. But man, what a doozy. What an absolute crap fest. But we're going to try and see if we can push on with just these two. Um, upside is that we can now kind of blow these open and turn them into some crafting rooms, maybe. And we don't need as much uh, going on here. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and uh, mark all, well here, grab the tables, mark those for deconstruction, and these chairs, we'll go ahead and get those materials. But yeah, we're going to start on the second floor up here. Basically just going to turn this whole used space right here on the second floor once we get all of this opened up into a giant craft area. We can start putting in, like, the tailor and all that jazz up there. That, at least that was the plan. And then we have space out here for any of the outdoor stuff. Um, but right now, we're just trying to pick up the pieces and get moving. Troy's still healing up. We still got all our animals. Got lots of bodies. We are going to have to get somebody on some kind of food rotation, I think. All right, we don't have a food person. All right, their cooking is six. Their cooking is eight. All right, I think he's going to be become Chef Boyardee. We'll drop mining to two. Harvest. Yeah. So he's going to start getting really, really good at cooking. All right, she's breaking everything down. They're transporting it. I'm judging by the fact that they're not transporting this. That we're full downstairs. Yeah, sure enough. There you have it. We're full. So we're going to need to start doing something with all this. I mean, we can't open it up a little bit. So here, let's expand it to here. Add in a little bit here and here. That'll definitely help. Get some stuff down there. You know, those guys down in the pit curious how they got down there. That is interesting. Alright. Yep, Natalite is just hard working. Getting it done. Getting all this crap done for us. Alright, we're going to do a little micromanagement. Just a, just a schmidgen. Um... I want to get up here done. Anyway, I'll just let her go. We'll let her do her thing. Troy, though, definitely needs to get his booty butt moving. How's he doing health-wise? Still has a pierced cheek. I wonder if I can have her tend to him. Can I? Nope. She probably doesn't have any skill at all. Here, let's wake him up a little bit. He's had plenty of time. Let's get him uh, chopping up these bodies. We don't want to lose this good meat. So we'll push him through the night. 
Yes. Right, over here, Predator's production. Grab another one. Chop it up. All right, we got plenty of uh, food shelves, so I'm not worried there. Grab another one. Lots of human skin, too. Gonna have plenty to do there. We have all those packaged meals and stuff that we did have on standby, so that's good, too. We still got a good bit of food here. Let's see. We got, got apples, lots of raw meat. We got the eggs. Lots of human meat, though. That's good. We got some roasted meats, like apple pies, stuffed eggs, smoked meats. I mean, there's meals. Meals to be had for sure. But bro is definitely going to be uh, hacking up all these bodies. Some of these bodies being our brethren, our fallen ones. I thought about maybe doing some kind of grave site or remembrance area, but, you know, they're going to be true uh, predators. They're going to eat their own. Do what needs doing, unfortunately. Since it's just down to the two of them. Keep them working through the night a little bit here. Like I said, we got to chop up all these bodies. So we can s keep the meat. Oh, we got a visitor. We'll see who shall it be. It's a bard. All right. Bro is, bro is getting it once he gets over here. We're still holding true to our tactics. We're still going to slaughter anyone that enters our territory. But I think the name of the game going forward, at least for the two of them for a while, is going to be... They're both archers. So what we can do is we can take out this support that's right here once we get these floor bits. Well, we have the floor bits. We can take this support out. So we'll take that out. I think... Or, you know what? No, we don't need to take that out. What we'll do... So a raid comes, right? We'll drop the gate. So take the gate out and throw up a wall piece. That'll seal us in completely. And then once this is all done, then they can just sit up here and shoot at anyone that comes within range. And if they need to, they can always fall back behind the wall that will be put up. But yeah, they're pretty much just going to have to hunker down and hold out. That's going to be the name of the game for them. Until we get enough people back. Yeah, just have them keep chopping up bodies. Just keep going, bro. Lots and lots of meats. Alright, grab you both. Do I want it? Okay. It won't let me... Yeah, I have the two settlers, but it won't let me... Do the multi thing that I can normally do. Is it because she's asleep? So here, come out here. Then you, same thing, come out here. That's weird, it's not letting me multi-select. I'm gonna have to one at a time. Very strange. Alright, attack that person. And Troy, attack that person. Make sure your pop shots count here, guys. Oh, they just went straight in for whoopings. There we go. Yeah, they need to get the distance. I don't know why they started punching. There we go. Yeah, it's still not letting me... That's weird. It's probably just like one of those stupid reload things. Whatever. Don't worry about that, Lita. Bro needs to get back to producing. Got bodies to chop up. And we killed a, another uh, wanderer. So at least get these last two right here. The ones outside, that's fine. They can just rot. They belong to nature now anyway. 
We'll just get these last couple here. I would say we might need to start digging out more stuff below, but <laughs> with just the two of them, we don't really uh, have that luxury. For some reason, she's prioritizing the dirt stuff out here. I mean, once it's done, it's done. That's fine, but... Yeah, I think it's more so just because it was... Already had the material, it was prepped. Where's she going now? Getting resources for construction. Coming to keep doing the dirt, I guess. Eh, it's fine. She'll finish it. Like I said, we have the tactic for when we want to seal ourselves in our little burrow bunker, if you will. That's gonna, unfortunately, have to be the name of the game for now. It's not really how I'd want it to be, but... It is what it is, I guess. At least we've got good curvature burrow ourselves in real nice. Troy's just getting his entertainment on. And I love how we're still in combat music, too. Like that didn't go away. Alright, yeah, I didn't think that really th this would last too long. I'm surprised we got as far as we did. I know it's only going to progressively get worse going forward. We'll try and hold out as long as we can, though. And the dumbass sealed themselves in. Bravo, ding dong, bravo. Oh my oi. There you go, at least they'll do it from right there. That works for me. start getting on all of this maybe if I do that yeah you know, she'll just drop the dirt out in the middle maybe this will inspire her we do this one it'll inspire her to get more and do a whole bunch of them so like I said this little outer rim right here is all gonna be graded flooring ah there we go it inspired her I think she kept doing dirt because I had her doing this dirt bit back here. So let's just have her keep going with this. And we'll see. And while we're waiting for this, more, more, more announcements. So like I mentioned last episode, I am going to be doing a 2K sub merch spectacular extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. Right, so I designed a cool little postcard. It's going to come on nice, you know, thick paper. Kind of cardstock style, right? It's going to have a nice, beautiful medieval thing. It's going to say, greetings from medieval England. Very beautiful layout. And then they'll have the, you know, watermark of the channel on the back with the typical lines and postage square and all that. Right, but that's, again, it's all aesthetic. It's going to look like a really nice little 5x7 postcard. And if you purchase the bundle, which is 10 bucks, you're going to get that postcard, 5x7, like I said. It's going to have a little handwritten note for me and it's going to be signed. And then it's going to come in a nice padded envelope, so that way it won't get bent, ruined, scratched, nothing like that. You can have it as a collector's item. And it will come with four stickers. They are two and a half inch stickers, so they're, you know, pretty good size. Water bottle stickers, if you will. They're going to have the nice matte finish on them, so that way, you know, they're not all slick and shiny and everything. They'll still be sealed really well. Um, two of the stickers are going to be a cool, like, kind of campfire logo design that I did based on the channel one. And then the other two stickers are going to be my little bear and moose person huddled around the campfire in the mountains trying to survive with their can of beans. So like I said, 10 bucks. 
Um, we're trying to reach 250 total to make it worth it. So in order for the deal to work to where I can get them all out to you guys, you know, potentially by around Thanksgiving, definitely before Christmas is the goal. Get them out to you guys. So we're looking at 250 available. If we go above that, say that, you know, you guys are just loving it, you want more, then we'll do them in batches of 50 thereafter. But it's going to be through Kickstart or Kickstarter, or whatever it's called. I don't know, my, my age is showing right now. But you go through there, and once the goal is reached, then I can place the order and start getting them out to you guys. So it'll be fun. Definitely look for the announcement for that. Help support the channel. All the funds going to that are going to hopefully go to getting me a new computer. So that'll be awesome. And then we can run at higher speeds, better frames, all that jazz. Right? I'm going to really sauce it up. be able to do all kinds of cool stuff and then because what i'm really hoping to do is get a good enough to computer to where i can live stream some hell divers and some other things like that we'll have a blast it's gonna be so much fun and why aren't those showing there they go that was weird all right so we have a friendly visit another bard settlers are becoming annoyed Another bard is coming, and animals are hungry. Alright, we're gonna have to put a ramp or something to get them the hell out of there. That's... yeah, we need to get them out. We'll just do that for now. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna dig it through so it'll all connect. We'll just do that for now. So let's grab Natalite. Come put this down. Get our beautiful precious animals out of there. So they can all come and grub. Girl, what are you doing? Come over here and construct this. There we go. It like, took her a minute to register. She didn't want to do it. Hey, at least Natalite and Troy are friends. They're having a wonderful conversation. <laughs> Just the two of them, so they better get along, right? Nope, oh, we seem to have the bard in our base now. What is she doing? Gathering up all that dirt that's down there. Hmm. Alright, so let's grab you. Grab you. Yeah, it's still not doing it. So weird. Alright, let's grab you. We're gonna call you into here. And then same thing. We'll call you into here. Let's get everybody inside. It's about to be night anyway. We need to uh, kill this ding dong that decided to uh, come into our base. He's fresh meat for the grinder. Troy is here. Where is she? Dude, get in here. What are you. Wow, the AI is just all kinds of jacked up today. Did I load a corrupt version or something? Like, what's going on? No, stay here. Attack Ding Dong. You. Attack Ding Dong. There you go. Oh, here come the bears. Oh, bro's done now. Great job, guys. Great job. And another one bites the dust. Perfect. And they're just going to immediately sit down and eat their own little people meals. That's hilarious. Oh, you know what? She... Let's see. Wildlife. Prisoner. Oh, Prisoners is up. Alright, we're going to have to definitely... I did not know about that. We're going to have to get, definitely give that a look-see and get ready for Bearchester. Alright, anyway. We got two new wolves. They're going to haul. They're going to battle. They're going to vermin. Okay. So, Natalite is the deer. Let's make her... No, let's make her the new... The new Bearmaster, I think. 
Yeah, let's make her the new bear master. Which means she needs... Or you know what? No, I want to make her the wolf. Let's make her the wolf master. Where's a good female? No, he's the wolf. Um, then she's going to have to be the boar. That's fine. We'll make her the boar. Which means that we need to find the boar helmet. Is that it? Nope. It's a flimsy cap. Ah, there it is. Boar headpiece. So, Natalite, come in and equip the boar headpiece. You are the new boar warrior. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. It is massive on her tiny little body. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. She's sporting it. She is sporting it. Gotta give her the credit where credit's due. Alright, Natalite, I know you're hungry. But at least want to get this started so you know what you're doing. Alright. And now back to the forever loop of combat music for some reason. You know, she's hungry. He's producing. What is he producing? Now he's sleeping. I'm curious what he was producing. I feel like she needs to fix the bridge so we can put the traps down. Notice we've gotten a lot of animals. A lot of polecats and whatnot helping themselves. They can still get in and out of the gate. So we need to put some traps down to help deter those feisty little critters. Yeah, there comes another one. Alright, what is she at for sleep? She's well rested. All right, so here, I'm gonna do this. She's gonna be super pissed about it, but that's okay. Oh, we're still in combat music. Oh, how did that fail? Yeah, we're doing a lot of micromanaging here. Then I get those traps set. Yeah, I don't like that pull cat keeps coming in and chomping on our bodies. It's, it's genuinely pissing me off. I can feel the rage boiling. I want to get down in there and take him out myself. Alright, while she's doing that, let's get down in here. Alright, we have... We have crates. Alright, what are you? Church. Advanced research. Basic. Oak brethren. I'm um, looking for crates. It's an ass rack. <laughs> oh, we gotta put that in. We gotta put in the ass rug. Yeah, we'll put the ass rug in there. And this is now Troy's new bed. And this one back here will become her new one. Alright. So we grabbed that ass rug. Ah, here we go. Wooden trap. So this can go... Yeah. Alright, what is that one? That's a clay brazier. Another ass rug. Alright, it can go there. Cartography table... Basic, Oak Brethren, Research. Oh, there's a bunch more at the top there. Wooden Trap, Wooden Trap. Okay, cool. I'm gonna unpack that one there. And then we got this Wooden Trap. We're gonna unpack this one here. And then we got... We should have another one here somewhere. That's a Research... Church, Oak Brethren, uh, Icebox, Astra, Wooden Trap. Okay, here we go, Wooden Trap. We'll undo this one here. All right, we'll see how that starts us off.
Oh, they're getting their prayers on. That's adorable. Alright, here, let's relocate these here. And relocate this one here. And then we have those Oak Brethren um, wall hangings. We'll put those in between over here. So Miss Natalie. Okay, she's gonna come and do all that. Perfect. Perfect. She's already on it. I don't need to do anything. Troy's like, hey girl. <laughs> she's like, I got you. you come do the other one. Just moving them on over. Alright, so here, come and do this wall. I don't need stuff to hang. So they're still bummed that all their acquaintances died. Let's keep it going there. See if she gets that done. We're just still in combat music. Because we're forever struggling. We're fighting against ourselves, apparently. We got a nice little outdoor table they can chill at. And we got a goat. Hey, there we go. Now we just get to get GB up in here. You can start training that bad boy. I don't see it. We have an ass, though. We have the dog. Our other chicken must have died. I missed that. We have a cow. Let's get that in here. We're still training polecats. Let's not waste the time on that. Even though I know we've made progress. I want the cow and the goat. Those are going to be much more beneficial. So let's get the time going on those. Alright, bro is cooking. Troy is definitely the new Chef Boy RD now. He's one of the OGs that survived. Because Natalie... Yeah, Natalie Holmes. Okay, so she was a newcomer. So we have a newcomer and then one of the OGs left. Hey, that's it. That's crazy. That's just wild. Here, girl, get these built. Right, come on. We need all this done. Get another one. Combat music is still driving me crazy. Makes me think that maybe there's something out there lingering we don't know about. Having with, I guess, uh, what do you call it? PTSD. Thinking that any moment we're just going to be raided and slaughtered. How much longer is she going to be bummed? Another day and a half. Alright, there. Con her, uh... Contract her construction skill, her ability as a contractor. There you go, that's going up. And she put down the ass rug. Prioritize the uh, the rug over here. Now she's exhausted. Yeah, of course. What is his construction skill? I mean, it exists. He's somewhat well-rested. I don't know if we want to push him through all of this. Not enough milk, not enough fruit juice. Mash, edit, just use everything. we just do that forever. If we can. No milk, no fruits. We got other things. We got vegetable, we got rot. Rot mash. I mean, that's not too bad, right? At least I don't think so. Hey, look at our, our little pond has its own fish now. It's kind of the whole reason I chose it. So we had a 
little fishing spot. Thought about building the village kind of around the pond, but I kind of like our little burrow idea of being right outside. Right? Walling ourselves in with dirt. It's definitely helping us also. Let's just see how much more they can uh, get done today. So I'm thinking for the 2K subspecial, I'm going to do another another go at the mole people. I don't know if I'm going to do just like a couple episodes, if I'll do like a... I play through a week and then make you guys a big video at the end, kind of movie style, or if we'll do a live. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's going to depend on time. Because fall sports is wrapping up and we're transitioning into winter sports. My eldest daughter is still playing rugby. My son is doing football and then switching over to wrestling. So there's a lot going on. And then the younger, my second youngest, wants to play basketball. So lots, lots going on here in our household. Busy, busy, busy. These, like, I want her to stop doing dirt. It's really kind of irritating me. She really has no reason to be out here. And we'll stop all the mining and stuff out here, too. Canceling all this. We need to focus on the projects that are inside. I mean, we're like, we're sealed. We're fine. It's dirt. They're not going to do anything. There's no ramps. There's no adage. If they get around to cutting that tree, cool. Hey! Alright! We got ourselves a newbie. Humphrey. And he's a welcomed addition. Yes. Alright, this right here... Is gonna be GB. Hell yeah, there you are, my friend. Welcome. Alright, so let's get you situated. Oh, whoops. There we go. Get you on the schedule. What is your thing? Marksman is 5, melee is 12. Alright, sweet. And your medicine is 13. Sweet, self ten. Alright, go ahead and grab a one hand. Grab a shield. All headgear. Winter. All armor. And welcome to the Cannibal V2. Because you are a cannibal, right? Yes. And you a chunky boy. You's a good old chunky boy. Alright, what's going to be your big thing? So, animal. Fantastic. Get that cracking. Ah, oh, culinary. Mwah. Chef Boyer D in the house. And then tailoring. So, culinary and tailoring. So, he can take a back seat. He can switch over to... Cutting, harvesting. I guess we'll go back up to mining for him. Crafting. Have him focus on this bit right here. Ooh, what is this? So, prisoner care and management is the Galler's assignment. Galler also strip new prisoners of belongings and manage their release. Ooh, I'm feeling the mole people cannibal special coming on. Like I said, we take prisoners and then we use them as like cattle. That's a speechcraft skill. Alright, we're gonna have to lock in on that one. Everybody just kind of does that as a as a meh. Alright, he's nothing there. Be a, you can be a fisher. Uh, we don't grow anything. Harvest when you can. Oh, he's not going to mine. Cuts fine as a three. Crafts fine as a three. Smithing, no. Carpentry. Put 
that is a four. Alchemy, no. Research, no. Art. That is a four. Sword and Hall. Okay, cool. Alright, we got a new guy in the house. So, GB, you're gonna live over here. Hey, finally! That means it'll take the load off of Troy. He can focus on other things. Dude here is going to lock in. So you're going to be the Lord of Goats. So come and equip this helmet with the horns. Come and put on the bone armor. Oh, that human skin is about to pop. And put it on. All the more. Equip the shield. And equip the hatchet. Alright, you're set, buddy. You are set. You are a true heathen now. Welcome, welcome. GB's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We're now a village of three. <laughs> and you've successfully domesticated the cow. Heck yes. That is awesome. All right, we need to find all of the Oak Brethren wall hangings. All right, we have all these things. So let's check this. No. No. Check over here. Check. What is this one? Advanced research table. Church of Restitution. Oak Brethren wall. Put that there. All right, so we got the basic research. Uh, we got that Oak Brethren wall, okay. Let's come up here. Oak Brethren wall. All right, so this one right here. Same thing, we'll go ahead and install it there. I know there's more. Some of them might be restitution. Oak Brethren Wall, we got that one. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, it's a brazier. Icebox. Restitution. Oak Brethren. And this one can go over here. All right, we'll get those for now just to get things started. Get them crack a lacking as we'd say. Oh, no, we want regular limestone. Ooh, I don't know, though. Are we going to keep this as an outdoor temple area? I think so. I think that'll probably be the best... The best thing for us. Just keep it as a little outdoor temple area. And we're going to do that. She can get to that when she wants... Taming animals, we're preparing, we're training. This is awesome, we're finally feeling it. We're getting back into the swing. I'm just gonna come and build this bit now. We have that clay brazier down there, don't we? It's over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's put that up by the temple things. Install that here. Yeah, get that put in up here. They can at least get a little bit of warmth, some light as they uh, go and worship. Make it feel a little less lonely. Yeah, there you go. Southers are becoming annoyed. My bad, my bad. Gotta love this combat music that just won't quit. <laughs> it is a bit ridiculous. But it is hilarious.
35 sticks for a stick trap. How, how many sticks do we have? How are we on sticks? Oh, we got 34 something. Okay. Well, let's start a stick menagerie, if you will. And then the spaces in between to slow down the enemies. I'm going to put bones. So it really looks all jacked up. Grab this. We'll copy it. Right. And then right around here, we'll just put them like this. And we'll go to waste, and it'll basically just be bone. And then we will copy. We'll go here and paste. 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 Okay, and then we can take this one and copy it now. And keep on booping them down. Oh, the little, like, rainbow effect it's giving. So, and then you're gonna have the traps in there, and you're gonna have bone littered all throughout. When we come here, I will deselect bone. We'll get them moving all that over. <laughs> Just piling it all up. Oh, it's going to look so cool. Be littered with traps and bone. It's literally going to be a nightmare. Wow, there's a lot of bone. Wow, there's a lot of bone. I expected a lot. That's a lot. And there's a dog. Is he ready to go? Doggo! Ooh, it's a female. And we got the cow that we can train. Nice. Nice. Can we grab any of these? Nope. We're gonna need to here pretty soon. All of this needs to be deconstructed. Because we're switching to braided flooring for up top. We need to switch all this over. So all of this... Let's grab the ones in the middle at least to start. This needs to be switched over. Oh, I don't know what that was all about. Maybe something finally sealing or... Do that for now. I'll switch these to those just to keep with the look. Again, that'll move around a lot differently as we move on, move forward. And our little traps worked. Got another one. <laughs> yeah, stupid pole cats. Ah, oh, that one got in. They're eating our our honey. Alright, we're almost done here. That's going to be nice once this is all sealed and ready. We'll be able to get up there for some defenses. Trying to see if we can get that finished this episode. 
I know it's not very wide, it's only three, but we're trying to keep it kind of compact, kind of efficient, right? There's only going to be one. Most benches are too deep anyway, so we'll have the one walk path. It probably goes around like the inside or the outside or something. Not really worried. But it'll do. It'll do in a pinch, that's for sure. All right. Uh, Troy. Come, um, prioritize resetting. Natalite. Prioritize this wood floor piece. Troy, same thing here. Prioritize resetting. Natalite's getting her construction on. And we're still apparently in combat music mode. <laughs> At this point, it's just ridiculous and hilarious. Oh, I get this last little bit. Come on, please. Last one, and then you can go about your... Well, I mean, it's 5 a.m. anyway. She's probably going to be fine. Might as well just keep micromanaging her. Well, no, she's going to go about her day. Never mind, never mind. Forget I said anything. I'm not here. Nor me. Getting her prayer on. That's what's important. Actually, more importantly than that... Right, that prayer area needs to get covered. Just that little bit, right? Because we're going to build the walls up around right here. Ah, she got that front bit done. Bravo. Bravo. Now if we get attacked, we can get access up here to shoot at them. That is a lot of bone. It's cool, though. It is cool. I just imagine it with all the leaves and stuff for the traps. All right, very ominous. Letting whoever comes our way know that we mean business. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. So, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining me on yet another epic adventure we're on the slow slow road to recovery right trying to figure out where we fit where we belong how things are gonna go moving forward we will do it though don't you worry we will do it we'll figure something out we got three now and then next you know it, it's four five six and we're back up to full strength and we're slaughtering the bad guys watching them die to all our traps who knows but for now, I think this is going to do it for this episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining me on yet another epic adventure. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe. Join the now over 2,000 subscribers here at the channel. Get that number up even higher. My goal was 2,000 by Christmas, and you guys did it before Halloween. So I'm super proud, super happy. Next step is now going to be 3,000, then 4, 5, and then the world. No, I'm just kidding. But if you'd like to stay in the know further as to what is happening, you can head over to Instagram and follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And for some additional support for the channel, look out for that postcard deal I announced. Also, you can check the link in the description for my Patreon or become a member here on YouTube. Got lots of new members coming in, trying to process all that, so please stay tuned. If you haven't, though, go ahead and join, support the channel. Does a lot of good. But in the meantime, guys, as I always say, thank you so much for stopping by. You're amazing, wonderful, beautiful, incredible people. I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next one.